believe I ordered a wake up call, Mikey. Hey, let's talk more. P.E. Ah, Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to P.E. with Miss McGill. Now, this doesn't exactly look like me, but it'll do for now. Now, I've decided to call you guys exercisers, because, let's face it, when you're with me, you are exercisers. You're exercising your body and your mind. Now you can have anyone join you, a friend, a family member, a pet, even grandpa. Last week, we talked about two different types of exercises. Aerobic, where your body needs more air for long periods of exercise, and anaerobic, where your body needs less air for short periods of exercise. Then you saw examples of aerobic exercises like walking, biking, jogging, running, and swimming. Next, you saw examples of anaerobic exercises, like sprinting, jumping, and lifting. This week, we're going to take a closer look at walking, power walking, jogging, running, and sprinting. Let's take a closer look on this awesome Tuesday exercisers. We know that anaerobic exercises require quick bursts of maximum effort. And maximum effort means trying as hard as you can. So when you do an anaerobic exercise like sprinting, you'll need a moment to catch your breath before you begin again. Anaerobic exercises are also done in quick bursts. That means they don't last for a very long time. Now if we look at sprinting, you can see that I have two cones set up because sprinting is only done for a short distance in a quick burst using maximum effort. In conclusion, sprinting has quick bursts with maximum effort, making it anaerobic. Aerobic exercises can be done for long distances over a long period of time. This is why they require the most air. Question. What type of exercise is power walking? The correct answer is aerobic. P.E. Arm stretches. Feel free to sing along with some original Miss Miguel songs during the stretches. Biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, abs and obliques aren't too far. Latissimus dorsi, also called lats, deltoids, pectorals, and my calves. These are the muscles in my body, parts, my trunk, my leg, and my arms. Biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, abs, and obliques aren't too far. 
Latissa Miss Dorsai, also called Lats, Deltoids, Pectorals, and My Calves. These are the muscles in my body, parts, my trunk, my legs, and my arms. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Stay standing. I'm kneeling so that you can see my arms during the entire stretch. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Oxygen heart lungs. Blood and muscles, blood and muscles, oxygen heart lungs. Blood and muscles, blood and muscles. Oxygen heart lungs. Blood and muscles, blood and muscles, oxygen heart lungs. Blood and muscles, blood and muscles. Ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six, ten beats times six. Ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six. Ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six, ten beats times six. Ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six. More vigorous, more oxygen. More oxygen, more beats. More beats, more blood. More power to your muscles. Today, we're going to use the muscle song to warm up our engines. Biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, abs and obliques aren't too far. Latissimus dorsi, also called lats, deltoids, pectorals, and my calves. These are the muscles in my body, parts, my trunk, my legs, and my arms. Biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, abs, and obliques aren't too far. Latissimus dorsi, also called lats, deltoids, pectorals, and my calves. 
These are the muscles in my body, parts, my trunk, my leg, and my arms. Let's go faster. Biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, abs and obliques aren't too far. Latissimus dorsi, also called lats, deltoids, pectorals, and my calves. These are the muscles in my body, parts, my trunk, my legs, and my arms. Biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, abs, and obliques aren't too far. Latissimus dorsi, also called lats, deltoids, pectorals, and my calves. These are the muscles in my body, parts, my trunk, my legs, and my arms. Let's go even faster this time. Biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, abs, and obliques aren't too far. Latissimus dorsi, also called lats, deltoids, pectorals, and my calves. These are the muscles in my body, parts, my trunk, my legs, and my arms. Biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, abs, and obliques aren't too far. Latissimus dorsi, also called lats, deltoids, pectorals, and my calves. These are the muscles in my body, parts, my trunk, my legs, and my arms. Even faster. Wow! The fastest speed. Ready, set, go. PPCT. This stands for planks, push ups, curl ups, and trunk lift. Emma's going to squat down and crawl forward and show you half plank position. You may also use full plank position if you choose. What is your plank goal? Would you like to plank for 25 seconds, 30 seconds, or would you like to try to go for the whole 60 seconds? Make sure each day your goal is at least the same as yesterday or one second more. Exercisers ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Great job! Next up, push-ups. The next time you get to do push-ups with me, you'll get to use this awesome push-up tester. But since you don't have one of these available to you, you can use a shoebox. Now I'm gonna need some help to show you guys where exactly the shoebox should touch you when you go down for your push-up. <laughs> no recording beats per minute right now, BPM girl. Yes, we need your help with push-ups. This area below your neck is where your box should touch your body when you go down for your push-ups. Let's get in position. First, bend your knees and squat down. Crawl forward and get on your tiptoes. Remember, no booty mountain. 
and no booty valley. Now let's talk about tus manos, your hands. They need to be pointed forwards. They cannot be turned inwards. Yeah! And they cannot be turned outwards. Yeah! They must be turned forwards. Yeah! And we can't forget our elbows 90 degree angle. When you go down to touch your chest to the box, try to get your elbow as close to a 90 degree angle as possible. If you are still having difficulty with push-ups, you can change over to modified push-ups. Modified push-ups are a way to train for push-ups by taking some of the weight off of your upper body. The difference between modified push-ups and push-ups is that your knees are touching the ground. Okay, exercisers, it's goal time again. What is your push-up goal for today? Are you going to try to do two? Four? Are you gonna try to go all the way to 10? Whatever your goal is, make sure it's either the same as yesterday or at least one more. We'll now begin the push-up section. Ready? Begin. Down. Up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up. Four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Up. Six. Down. Up. Seven. Down. Up. Eight. Down. Up. Nine. Down. Up. Ten. What is your curl-up goal, exercisers? Is it one? Is it six? Or maybe you're trying to go all the way to 12 today. Make sure your goal today is either the same as yesterday or one more than yesterday at the very least. If you do need someone to hold your feet down, that's okay if your curl-ups are looking like this. Remember, feet flat, hands flat, knees to the sky. Make sure your hands are sliding forward across the ground with each curl up. If you need someone to hold your feet, here are a few different ways they can do that. And if there's no one available to help you, remember you can always put something heavy on your feet or put your feet underneath a chair or couch. We'll begin the curl ups now. Ready, begin. Up. Down, one, up, down, two, up, down, three, up, down, four, up, down, five, up, down, six, up, down, seven, up, down, eight, up, down, nine, up, down, ten, up, down, 11, up, down, 12. And now we're moving on to trunk lifts. You're gonna lay down on your stomach. You're gonna make sure your palms are facing up and you're gonna lift up, bringing your chin up as far as you can. Let's do five trunk lifts together. Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five. Water, 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 break. All right, exercisers, for this week's activity, we're going to go through a variety of different aerobic and anaerobic exercises. Those aerobic exercises will be done for 30 seconds, and the anaerobic exercises will be done in quick bursts with maximum effort. First up is the hopscotch. We'll begin with a straddle where both feet are on the ground, and then we'll hop either on our right leg or our left leg. Here's a quick demonstration. Straddle hop, 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 straddle hop. Since this aerobic exercise will take us 30 seconds, you will not need to use maximum effort. Ready, go. 
Straddle hop, straddle hop, straddle hop, straddle hop, keep going. Next up, jump and twist. Here's an example. Now it's your turn to try this anaerobic exercise in a quick burst with maximum effort. Go! Next up, mountain climbers. But first, I need to move my cart. Now that the cart is finally out of the way, here's an example of mountain climbers. You've got 30 seconds for this aerobic exercise. Go! It's time to use our maximum effort for a quick burst with the heel click jump. Here's an example. Jump, quick burst, maximum effort, go. Next up, line touches. It's okay if you don't have actual lines on the ground where you are. You can just pick a spot to touch every time you lean down. Here's an example. Thirty seconds of long distance line touching aerobic goodness. Go. Here's an example of the star jump. Get ready to use your maximum effort for this anaerobic exercise. Go! Grab your imaginary skis. It's time for an example of the skier. Are you ready? It's time for 30 seconds of aerobic skier goodness. Go! Okay, Miss Miguel, back-to-back -back aerobic exercises sounds good. Here's an example of jumping jacks. 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Let's go.
it's time for a mule kick. Here's an example. It's time for one quick burst with maximum effort. Mule kick, go! Last but not least, here's an example of the bear walk. It's time for our last aerobic exercise with 30 seconds of the bear walk, go! Last but not least, the heel slap. Here's an example. For our final anaerobic quick burst with maximum effort, the heel slap. Go! Question, which type of exercise has quick bursts of maximum energy? The correct answer is anaerobic. All right, exercisers, it's time for a cool down, and today we're going to be using cool down number two. We're going to begin with side facing warrior. The toes on your back leg should be turned in, and you'll want to bend your knee over your front ankle of your front foot. forward. Breathe out, arms in, lean back. Breathe in, breathe out. Arms out, arms in. Lean forward, Lean back. Now, let's place one foot in front of the other. With our hips and shoulders facing forward, focusing our stare at something in front of us that does not move, like a door, a shelf, or a spot on the wall. Breathe in, side lean. Breathe out, lean back to your original spot. If you lose your balance, take your time and find it again. Your arms can be at any height that is comfortable for you. Now, breathe in and out at your own pace. going to switch the position of our feet. Okay. Now our back foot is in the front and our front foot is in the back. Continue by breathing in with a side lean. Breathing out, lean back to the center. Thank you. 
bring our feet to shoulder width apart. We're gonna breathe in with our hands on our lower back. And we're gonna breathe out and run our hands down our quads. Breathe in, breathe out. Question. At school, what does PE stand for? The correct answer is physical education. Excellent job today, exercisers. And a special thank you to the inspiration for this cool down, our friends at the Nairoga Institute that visited our school district. <laughs>